Welcome back to Movie Recap. Today I'm gonna show you a 2016 South Korean disaster film called, Pandora. Spoilers ahead. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The movie starts when four kids are gathering around the shore, they are living near the ocean, and there's a big nuclear power plant standing from afar. These kids are talking about the benefits of the power plant, but the girl refuses to say that it will blow them up one day. After so many years, in a local restaurant, Min Jae wakes up his uncle, Jae Hyuk, from his deep sleep, he's been asleep until noon because he has been drunk since last night. Jae Hyuk refuses to get out of bed, then suddenly, his mom, Mrs. Sok, goes inside and forces him to wake up, so Jae Hyuk does. He eats breakfast first, alongside his childhood friends, who are also recovering from a hangover. Jae Hyuk's sister-in-law, Yoong Hae, is helping their mom to run the diner. Suddenly, a girl comes in, and it's Jae Hyuk's girlfriend, Yeon Ju, She's mad and goes straight toward Jae Hyuk, she kicks his legs for drinking again, then she leaves the diner. Jae Hyuk goes to his mom and asks if he can skip work today, but his mom gets mad and scolds him. In the middle of the road, some protesters are protesting against the nuclear power plant, and they don't want the power plant to continue because it damages their village and the environment. The locals are having a commotion against the power plant workers, they lie down the road so that they can't enter the Han Buell nuclear power plant. When the workers finally enter the power plant, it carries the guys inside, including Jae Hyuk, they are all working there, and they start to go inside. Gil Seop's dad, Mr. Kong, is there telling his son that he should be the one dead instead of his wife. Inside the plant, there is an ongoing seminar about the nuclear power plant, and it tackles its benefits and how it works. Guys are changing their clothes in the locker room. It shows how they work inside the power plant and the chambers, valves, and plumbing. It's enormously hot. The materials are gigantic. When they finish working, Jae Hyuk and his friends are drinking again, near the shore, in an open market. They are all ranting about their life in their town and how they hate the power plant, and Jae Hyuk is furious because his brother and father have already died because of the radiation before. Then suddenly, a motorcycle comes to them. It's Yeonju riding. She is coming to get Jae Hyuk because of drinking again. Jae Hyuk tries to sneak out, but Yeonju falls from the motorcycle. At night, Jae Hyuk is fixing and welding her motorcycle of Yeonju, they are quarreling at first because Jae Hyuk wants her to buy a new motorcycle. Instead, he can't keep fixing it forever. But Yeonju refuses, and she explains she's saving money. Then suddenly, Jae Hyuk confronts Yeonju that he wants to leave the town, go to Seoul, and work as a seaman. Jae Hyuk pulls out his seaman passport from his jacket and shows it to Yeonju. She gets mad and screams at him, telling him that he is the only one she got since she doesn't have any family. In the president's office, the first lady gives the president a compilation of papers about closing the power plant complaint. In Han Buell, two workers from the power plant are drinking from afar. One of them is Pyung Sub, the chief of the power plant. His colleague is telling him that the power plant is the best gift that they have for the country because it will revive their dying economy. But Pyung Sub refuses and tells him the harmful effects of the power plant. The following day, Jae Hyuk sits with his mother and sister-in-law. He explains that he wants to go to Seoul and work as a seaman. His mother is furious and tells him that he should stay there in town, get married instead, and never leave. Jae Hyuk and his mom get into a quarrel, so he walks out and leaves for work instead. In the middle of the night, tons of rats and other animals come out of the underground canal. The next morning, Mrs. Sok and Yoong Hae are at the table, fixing the ingredients for the diner. When Yoong Hae says to their mom that maybe she could give Jae Hyuk a chance to work as a seaman, Mrs. Sok gets mad and she recalls that Jae Hyuk failed one time, she already gave him money from their father's compensation. Still, he wasted it for nothing and came back to their town empty-handed. Yoong Hae gets offended, and she walks out to buy some soy sauce in a nearby store. Mr. President calls his prime minister into his office, they are discussing the power plant complaint sent to them by Pyung Sub, the president is frustrated because he knows that malfunctions are happening in the power plant, and its effects on the people and the environment but the Prime Minister contradicts it by saying that it will help them revive their country. Back in Han Buell, Pyung Sub gets the memo that he will be transferred to the Human Resources Department far away from the power plant. He demands to know why, but his colleagues only say that the head wants him to be there, and he works hard. He also already fired many presidential secretaries because he complained to them. On the other hand, Jae Hyuk is in the power plant, explaining to his friends why he wants to be a seaman, and convincing them to leave the place. When suddenly, a big earthquake happens. It shatters everything around the city and destroys the buildings. Jae Hyuk immediately calls Yeonju to go to the diner and check out his family. 
Young Hae runs to go back again to the diner and sees his son, Min Jae, get hurt. Pyung Sub, who's driving away from Han Buell, goes back there to immediately check out the power plant because he knows its risks. The president is also not directly informed that an earthquake just happened. When Pyung Sub reaches the power plant, he goes straight to the office and asks all the other staff what's happening, and they say that there's a leakage in the coolant caused by the earthquake. Another staff panics when he says that the coolant level is going down. They command all the mechanics and workers underground to continue welding the valves, but there are still leaks everywhere. Jae Hyuk wants to go home because he remembers how his dad died before. The president is mad for informing him late, but he knows the situation already. The power plant workers are now doing everything to fix the leakage, but they panic and start running away. The chief and other high-ranking officers from above are mad at them because they are leaving the valves, and it will become worse. Folks in Han Buell town are evacuating through the buses they have. They start to go far from the power plant. Workers are evacuating themselves too. But the officers close the gate so they cannot go outside and force them to fix the meltdown, but it's too late. Gil Siop's dad forces himself to go inside the plant to look for his son. Officers get the blueprint and try the alternative, to open the vents because it's not working manually. When they try to do it, the nuclear power plant explodes. Jae Hyuk, who is trying to open the gate, is now looking at his friends. Most of them die now since the tubes and plum are at the top of their body. But he sees Gil Siop seeking help, so he helps him, and his dad comes too. Lots of them get injured. The president and his cabinet are frustrated with what's happening, and they are in a meeting room trying to solve the problem. The people of Han Buell town are sent to a local gymnasium, and they give them first aid kits. The police are not saying anything to them. Though tons of fire trucks are coming into the power plant to save it, Yunju rides her motorcycle to go to the power plant. She sees everything, the catastrophe. Yunju also sees Jae Hyuk, who just came outside carrying Gil Siop and his dad. But Jae Hyuk is distancing himself from her to avoid exposure, and he tells her to go back to the family and take care of them, save his friends inside, and go with them too. Jae Hyuk is demanding that the firefighters go inside because a lot of them are still inside, injured. But the firefighters say that they can't go in due to a high level of exposure. So Jae Hyuk takes the risk and goes instead. Many rescued people are dying in pain at the hospital, there are burns on their bodies, and they are confined inside the hospital. Yunju goes back to the gymnasium, she tells everyone that the power plant exploded and they are all in danger. They try to leave the gymnasium, but the police have already locked the gates. Back in the plant, Jae Hyuk tries to save his friend Jae Tech, but instead, the valve above him explodes and pours out a lot of harmful liquids. Jae Hyuk spits out a lot of blood inside his mask, and he needs to go to the hospital. The fire trucks leave the site because they need to refill the waters. The officials are fighting that they can use seawater instead, but the government is not allowing it because it will decommission the plantation if they use seawater. At the hospital, Jae Hyuk is dying too, and he's in too much pain. The Prime Minister is not allowing the actual situation to be exposed to the media. Yung Hae is also quarreling with their mother, blaming her for it's all her fault. Also, the firefighters are getting exposed, and they are getting weak. The next morning, the helicopter comes to help them, pouring water from the top. While Pyung Sub is still there, saving lives. Also, the IAEA found out about the explosion because they detected it through the air. Yunju wakes up, and she sneaks out to see what's happening outside, she sees that everyone is running away, including the medical staff and police. She goes back to the gymnasium and wakes up everybody. They help each other to open the gate by banging it continuously. After they get out, they go to the bus, and Yunju drives it. When the media gets the news about the power plant, it blows up in the city. All people are panicking, and it's chaotic, it looks like anarchy. Almost all doctors ran away, too, leaving the dying patients alone. People get to bus terminals, airports, and train stations, trying to get away. Jae Hyuk wakes up, and he finds his phone, he calls Yunju and asks her where they are. Yunju assures him that they will be fine, so Jae Hyuk also says that he will come after them. While Yunju is driving, it gets traffic, so she decides to counterflow by destroying the barricade from the other side of the road. The media is panicking, and the government wants to declare martial law. Jae Hyuk forces himself to go out. The president locks himself in a room. But he calls Pyung Sub, asking what they need. President goes to the meeting room again and takes control. He commands them to use seawater and shut down all the other plants. So Pyung Sub tells it to the chief firefighter, and they start to use seawater. Pyung Sub goes inside the plant and inspects the floor, and he finds more problems, there's still leakage of coolant. There's big traffic, 
and the Han Buell folks decide to get off the bus because the air already has dust coming after them. Jae Hyuk calls Yeonju again and asks how they are. He assures her that he's fine and he will go after. The president announces that they need volunteers on national television, and he asks people for help. The power plant workers who are confined in the hospital, watching it, and get mad because they didn't listen to them, but now they are asking people to fix their mess. Gil Siap wants to volunteer, but his dad scolds him, but he refuses, and he wants to do it. Jae Hyuk lies down and explains that it's the government's fault, but the exposure will get to their families if they do not do anything. So all of the volunteers. Jae Hyuk calls Yeonju again and says goodbye to her, and he explains that he will volunteer because they are also the ones who know how to fix it. On the road, people start running when they realize that clouds of dust from the plantation are now at them. A big commotion separates Mrs. Sok, Yeonju, Min Jae, and Yoong Hae. But in the end, they can find each other. Yeonju calls Jae Hyuk and asks him to promise her to come back alive no matter how long it takes. All of them dress up, including Gil Siap's dad, they gather each other and ride on a bus, go back to the town, and get surprised at how damaged it is. They reminisce about their memories while looking out the window. When they get into the power plant, all of the firefighters wait for them, giving them a salute as they walk inside the plantation. President and the government watch them through the camera attached to Pyong Sub's helmet. They start to do the operation, and Team 1 gets in first to set up the materials they need. When they cannot breathe anymore, they go out. Team 2 gets in and starts welding the ceiling, but instead, it is unsuccessful to create a bigger leakage. They all lost hope. But Jae Hyuk suggests that they should make a new tank and explode it. When they plan what to do, Jae Hyuk sacrifices himself, and he is the one holding the bomb. He starts to set up all the bombs everywhere. Outside, his co-workers closed the chamber and started welding every side. Jae Hyuk requests to put himself on television to say goodbye to his family, so while they are welding outside, he's speaking to the camera. His family goes inside the bus again and bursts out with tears while watching him. He says goodbye to his mom, sister, nephew, and girlfriend. After that, he complains about why he would die like that, it's unfair, and he's terrified. All of them are dying, including the president. Jae Hyuk stares into nothing, he asks Pyong Sub if it's ready to go, and it is. So Jae Hyuk presses the ticker, and it explodes. Jae Hyuk dies by saving many. The president asks Pyong Sub if he made it, but he doesn't, he also mentions his name to be remembered forever. The movie ends with the aftermath of the catastrophe. They couldn't go back to the town because it was permanently closed. But Yeonju still visits it even though she can only reach the gate, and she left the picture frame of them when they were young. All of the workers die and are honored by the president, including Gil Siap and Pyong Sub die after. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.